Good evening, I'm Amy Paprath. And I'm John Druska. Here's tonight's top story. On Thursday, it marked the 100th anniversary of the United States entering World War I. To commemorate the event, Donald Trump tried to start World War III. <laughs> On Wednesday, Donald Trump removed advisor Steve Bannon from the National Security Council. Upon being fired, Bannon immediately crawled home to his sewer drain. <laughs> also Wednesday, Pepsi pulled its controversial ad starring Kendall Jenner, commented a Pepsi spokesperson. We at Pepsi want to apologize that our commercial put Kendall in an awkward position. Although, isn't getting filmed in awkward positions kind of what made the Kardashians famous? <laughs> Before getting confirmed on Friday, Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch was accused of plagiarizing parts of his book. And when he heard Gorsuch had plagiarized, Donald Trump made him his next first lady. <laughs> Speaking of the first lady, Melania Trump's official first lady portrait was unveiled on Monday. A copy of the portrait will also be hung in the Airbrushing Hall of Fame. <laughs> After Verizon finishes acquiring Yahoo and AOL, they will be combined under one new name. That new name? Obsolete. <laughs> David Schwimmer and his wife have separated while they determine the future of their seven-year marriage. Explain Schwimmer. Hi. <laughs> we are on a break! <laughs> And now, where hard news meets Hollywood, here with our entertainment news is our very own Pepper Jenkins! Case for Christ flopped at the box office this weekend, making less than four million dollars, commented one of the producers of The Case for Christ. Oh boy, we really got crucified. Yep, I heard it. 
Former Jersey Shore star Mike the Situation Sorrentino has been charged with tax evasion and faces up to 15 years in prison. So if he goes to prison, his slogan GTL will now stand for Jim Tan License Plates. <laughs> According to a new study, more than one third of Los Angeles residents fear that under the Trump administration, they will face deportation. The other two thirds of Angelinos fear that one day they will have to face adulthood. <laughs> Girl Scout cookies are now available for purchase on Amazon. Although if you buy your cookies without leaving your home, every order will include a free box of Tagalones. <laughs> Apple may delay the launch of the iPhone 8 from September to October or November. The company says it needs more time to consider what features to remove from it. A new study of cannibalism among our prehistoric ancestors reveals that humans do not have much nutritional value. Responds at a Neanderthal bro. Maybe not, but when you're drunk and it's late, it's healthier than Taco Bell. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Crazy. According to a new study, Canadian babies cry more than those born in any other country. And according to another new study, we do too many studies. <laughs> In his first official minor league at bat Thursday night, Tim Tebow hit a home run. But sadly, in his personal life, Tebow still hasn't scored. 